What's up, Tigers? This is Club, and I got you news. Today's lunch is a hot dog, some carrots, celery sticks, banana, cookie, or a cheeseburger in the Tiger Grill. Monday's breakfast is cheese omelet and muffin with fruit choice. Attention students, College Go Week is all next week. Seniors, if you're confused and need help with college applications, sign up in guidance. They will be in the computer labs during SRT and PLC this coming week. The IU Wells Scholarship was changed from September 23rd to September 26th. Also, on Tuesday, October 4th, St. Joseph College Fair will take place at Century Center in South Bend. This is a free event and it is from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Bethel College will be hosting a Christian College Fair on Tuesday, September 27th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. This is a free event. And WCHS is hosting a college night on Wednesday, October 5th from 6.30 to 8. 50 colleges will be represented that evening. Following the college fair will be a financial aid meeting, which will be held in the pack. Representatives from Manchester and Ancilla College will be here Thursday, September 27th from 7.40 to 8.22. If you are interested, please sign up in the guidance office. Also, there is a chemistry study table Tuesdays after school in Ms. Hamilton's room from 3 to 4. There will also be a student-led study table on Thursday mornings beginning September 22nd from 7.30 to 8.22. See Mr. Zell if interested. So if you need any extra help, ladies and gentlemen, go. It's your future. Auditions for all the school variety show will be on September 27th. Your act must be completely prepared by the 27th. Warsaw Robotics Club will be meeting Monday, September 26th, right after school until 4.30 in Y177. And on Friday, October 7th, will be picture retake day. So if your first one did not go well or you're absent that day, Go to Tiger Central during your lunch period. In room B211 from 3 to 4 on Monday, September 26th will be the next math club meeting. So all you people interested in math, go be a part of the fun. Also, good luck to the Warsaw Marching Tigers on Saturday as they go to the Penn High School Invitational. WCHS will be performing at 826, so everyone head up to Mishawaka and support your Tigers. Good luck. On Tuesday, September 27th, SCCLA is having their new member installation ceremony from 3 to 4 in Y170. You will be receiving your t-shirts and candles and be kicking off their cookie dough fundraiser. So all you cookie monsters out there, find these guys and buy some cookies. This is all the news I have for you today. This is Kalub, and now to Jared with your sports. Deuces. How you doing today? Good, good. We had a busy night on our hands last night, and we had to get our little paws dirty. So let me start off with this. The girls' varsity volleyball team won a very emotional match against the Wawasee Warriors last night. This wasn't your ordinary match. It was special. It was Warsaw's annual Dig Pink match that supported breast cancer. This match was very significant to the Lajeta family. Our thoughts and our prayers are with you guys. Standouts for these lovely ladies was, what do you know, Jamie LaHeta, and Alex Sanchez, Katie Bowles, Nicole Nolf, Emily Poe, Sarah Hagee, and Chloe Hubner. Way to go, girls. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Oh my gosh. The girls' varsity soccer team is my favorite. They won 4-0 against the Manchester Squirrels, I mean, Squires, boom, bang. How do you like me now, girlfriend? Standouts for these honey blossoms were Hannah Cutshaw scoring the first in the first three minutes, then Kelly the Wildcat Wildman scoring three minutes later. Then Brooklyn Jackson had a nice little score in the 59th minute. What's up, Claire Snodgrass? Scoring any goals lately? I think so. She topped it off with the last goal in the game. Way to go, people. Then in other news, Kyle Wetschrick made it to the semifinals in the NLC Boys Single Tennis Tourney last night. He plays tonight along with his other fellows. The boys soccer team was rolling fat last night, and I'm not talking about weight. P-H-A-T, fat, winning 2-0 against Goshen. Corey Lopez scored both of the goals. No! Goal! 
Then the boys' Northridge freshman football team came on the bus ride to Warsaw with high expectations for the game. Obviously, they were not fulfilled. We marked the competition 27 to 6. Offensive leaders for the Tigers was Ethan Bradley with one touchdown and Jake Mangus threw a 30-yard pass to Justin Gray for a touchdown. Then Zeke Brown had two touchdowns and scored a 60-yard return. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! Then, then the Warsaw Varsity football team is going to go and whip some Redskins tonight at Goshen. We running, we gunning, and we winning, we stunning. It starts at 7.30. Be there. Well, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to go rock out with Kalub. I love Kalub. And this has been Jared. And have a super flicious day. Bye-bye. Messed up. Hey, Tigers, this is Alex, and it's time for Famous Birthdays. First up, we have Jason Alexander, he's turning 51, he's from Seinfeld. And then we have Bruce Springsteen, he's turning 61. He's a famous singer that sang Born in the USA. We have the amazing Ray Charles, he's turning 80 today. And we have Mickey Rooney, he's been an entertainer for over 80 years. Now we've got our Tiger birthday. Fortunately, we've got one. We've got Skylar Newsom. Love, Jillian. And a very happy birthday to you, Skylar. Hey everyone, time for this day in history for September 23rd. In 1889, Nintendo is founded by Fusuhiro Yamauchi. In 1909, The Phantom of the Opera is first published. And in 1952, Richard Nixon makes his Checkers speech. And the first version of Mozilla Firefox is released in 2002. That's all the history I have for you today. Everyone have an awesome weekend. In England, the ITV channel airs for the first time. And in 1980, Iraq invades Iran. Have an awesome day, Tigers.